Much needed rain has broken the long dry spell in parts of the North Island, but still in the grip of the worst drought in 70 years, farmers are by no means in the clear yet. Matt McLean explains. Grant Lovelock's Hora Whenua farm is looking damper than it has in months. But he's been farming long enough now to know it's not enough to break the drought. If anything, it's probably more of a morale booster for us. Ideally, we need that follow-up rain to really make the big difference. His irrigation ponds are still at about half their normal levels. This is the scary thing. If we do get a big dump, it's just going to run straight off. It's that dry. Um, really, we need uh, this sort of wetting rain. Um, over about three or four days. But the Met Service says the rain is expected to disappear by tomorrow afternoon when another high-pressure system rolls into place, bringing with it more scorching hot temperatures, meaning farmers are not out of the woods just yet. The soils um, were in the deficit for rainfall to the tune of around 140 millimetres. So we've had you know, maybe 30 millimetres in some areas, um, up to 50 to 80 in Westland and Buller. So we need another 80 to 100 to really get soils back up to capacity. In Taihape, farmers haven't even had a taste of the rain. Very disappointing. The rain, uh, you know, we were expecting at least or no seven, eight mils, and at the moment we are really struggling to keep it above water. The long dry is taking its toll. Air conditions are extreme. Dropped uh, stock units by 6,000, which is about 25%. Um, and, of course, incomes dropped um, a 30% as well. But NIWA forecasts do suggest normal autumn weather conditions should return come next month. Matt McLean.